Good afternoon. After a really wet winter and spring, the Rio Grande is as full as it's been in a decade, and that is presenting some problems. If something isn't done, the aftermath could be devastating. News 13's Rebecca Atkins went to see for herself. We were still flooding the Bosque. Jetty jacks along the Rio Grande, designed to stop erosion, now underwater. Trails flooded. You can see where the trail's still being covered. It's certainly good for the animals. It's good for habitat. But not necessarily so for people. So. In a ride along with the Middle and, Rio uh, Grande Conservancy District. Here, we have about 1,200 miles of levees, drains. Riding atop the levee um, in Los Lunas, Chief Executive the, Officer Mike um, Hammond shows us the uh, aftermath of the high snow melt this year. The park bench is inundated over there. It's you can see how that. much water there yeah. is, and the levels have actually come down quite a bit. But all that water stresses the levees. Bosque Farms in Las Lunas, the water's getting up into the uh, overflow bank area. And, and coming up against the levee system. Then there's a possibility that maybe one of our levees could, could get weakened and, and then breach. Now Hammond says the water levels haven't been this high in almost the last 10 years. Over the last 15 years, we've probably only had about three or four of these kind of events. They recently found seepage. He says they've taken steps to repair the levees, but it's not a permanent fix. If we had a, a, big, a big rainstorm event on top of the flows that we, we saw, uh, it could have caused some problems. He says a breach would be devastating. There's a possibility that water could, could uh, damage homes and farmland. They say there needs to be a total reconstruction of the levees from Albuquerque to Berlin, a quarter of a billion dollar project. But with the bad comes some good. It's actually a good problem to have when you have good water supply. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE News 13. Now, Hammond says most levees are more than 75 years old. The levees in the Albuquerque area are in decent shape because they've had more recent reconstructions.